One of those Thanksgivings that in the morning when you go out to the football game, you definitely want the tall thermos of hot chocolate. Absolutely. Right? Thermos of hot chocolate or coffee bundled up for these classic rivalries, Eric. But at least it's going to be sunny. Yep. We heard talking about big change for tomorrow after the dreary weather we had today. And less wind tomorrow is really going to make a big difference for us. Now, the rain totals pretty impressive in southeastern Massachusetts today. Once you are along and south and east of that 95 corridor, that's where we saw some amounts approaching two inches on Cape Cod. Then once you head towards central Massachusetts, closer to a quarter inch. It's a pretty fine line between the haves and the have-nots. Tonight, it's about the cold. Down to 39 degrees in Boston, but that wind is out of the northwest. The wind has been the difference maker. It's not terribly cold outside, actually. A typical late November night. However, the wind is creating some wind chill values at times. We've got a batch of colder air that's going to be here for Thanksgiving, but it's all ready to start to get flushed out by the time we head into Friday. Some of the wind gusts right now, still over 30 miles per hour. Outer Cape, Lower Cape, Nantucket, and Bedford just had a gust up to 32. Should be calmer by tomorrow morning as high pressure builds in. And across the country, really not a lot going on. It's a beautiful thing for Thanksgiving. Your rainy spots, Florida, ironically, the Sunshine State, and Washington State into Oregon, but there's a little payoff there. They've had some all-time record high temperatures across Washington today, so it's not a cold rain that's moving in, at least. Now, tomorrow morning, this is what we wake up to. Temperatures in the 20s to low 30s. Very chilly beginning for all those road races. You burn a couple extra calories, and it's colder out there, trying to stay warm. And once we get going, I think it'll feel fine without that wind. About 34 degrees in Boston around 9 a.m. For any of the football matchups, again, mid-30s for the most part. Need to layer up. Warm beverage for sure, but not a bad day. Actually, last Thanksgiving, the high was 44. This Thanksgiving, the high will be about 44. 44 in Bedford as well as a Taunton area, 45 in Norwood. Boston around 43 degrees, mainly the low to mid-40s for tomorrow afternoon. So no travel issues. Friday looks even better. If you're going to be doing some decorating or some shopping, it's a cold morning, yes, but tons of sunshine. Again, not too much wind. And we'll get close to 50 degrees on Friday afternoon. So a really nice day that's dominated by high pressure or if you're traveling back home somewhere. Then we head into the weekend. Saturday will be the mild day. Southerly winds will get us into the 50s. Brightest part of the day looks like the morning, the afternoon. Clouds will start to increase. There is a chance of some showers as we head towards Saturday evening. But if you want to put up some Christmas lights, some holiday decorations, Saturday should be the pick to do it. As we head into Sunday, the temperatures drop. We'll stay in the low to perhaps some middle 40s. It'll be gusty, colder outside. Even a chance for a couple of flurries there for the second half of the weekend. And if you're traveling anywhere as we head into the end of the week or the start of the weekend, same idea. Really quiet pattern across the country. Very few travel trouble spots are expected. If you're heading toward northern New England, they got a couple inches of fresh snow on the mountaintops today. On the cool side for Friday and Saturday, Sunday the cold really comes back in with some snow showers. And for the Pats, it'll be about the wind, and uh, you can bring a, a toy for the Patriots toy drive. That will be on Sunday as they take on the Dolphins. Always much appreciated, I am sure. So here's a look at the seven day outlook. Monday starts cool next week, but we jump up into the 50s on Tuesday. It might even make a run at 60 by Wednesday. David and Lisa, back to you. I like the sounds of that. Eric, thank you.